today and I'm here to show you a uh, nice little secret area I found in GTA on accident yeah so let's get started here first you're gonna head to this spot on the map that I'm showing you it's at the SLS police station in the city so yeah it's just uh, head to the back of it like if you have your car just drive around back or something and yeah here we go you're gonna come to this uh, gate right here that is uh, opens on its own when you come up to it and you're gonna come come into here and there's gonna be a flight of stairs yeah there they are there's gonna be a stairs that you go down there's a door there and I just noticed this because I shot it one time and it opened on its own I was like oh that's pretty neat walk in here you got your uh, LSPD state station logo there's the camera right there. I just shot it for no fucking reason. Yeah, you come in here, and you're basically in the actual jail part of the jail, which I've never actually ever been to before, so I thought this was pretty neat. And you can go inside each of the individual cells, and they all, they're all basically the same, but they're pretty cool to go in. You can't get locked in them or anything. Yeah, and I was looking to see if there was like a little hole in the wall or like some little Easter egg thing like like that. But yeah, and then you open up the door and the actual offices. <laughs> no candy or gum inside the cells. And it's neat to look how much detail they actually put into the GTA 5 that is like you don't actually see like all the time like you would like a, a skyscraper or something like the interior designing. It's really cool to see that printer broken like what the hell now it's broken and all throughout this uh, prison you can just see like the cameras that you see and the Felicia job like and you can shoot them down which is pretty cool like I do right here and yeah I just switched to a different weapon so. and you can also shoot those fire alarms I was thinking if it was going to make a sound like if the fire alarm was going to go off but they just like break and make a little animation that's all that happens case of fire call 911 <laughs> those little bounties that are pinned up on this bulletin board right here I mean like how would you put this I mean this is just a whole lot of detail here a whole lot of detail that you just like never notice because you just probably fly right past the police station like oh it's just another building Beam machine Let's see what they have uh, coffee espresso double espresso <laughs> that's actually pretty cool all right now to the actual uh, lobby area the where you go for the the prison break heist to get the schedule here's the room right there and there's the lobby yeah, there's the schedule, the bus schedule. Yeah, but there they just have like different dates. I didn't, I didn't read that thoroughly. Some of these computers you can actually go on, which is pretty funny. Like, yeah, uh, use my boss computer real quick to shop. You know, there's a uh, projector. Doesn't really break. You got your 56 inch. Telling you why you need to join the LSPD. Now to the fun part. Come here, that's the locker room, yeah. And you go down this hall and go into that door, and there's there's actually a staircase to the roof. Maybe it goes up four or five times. Yeah, you come up here and there's the roof, but the door sadly doesn't open, which is pretty stupid. I think it'd be really cool if you come up here and the door would open and stuff. That kind of, kind of a bummer. Now, yeah, we're gonna head back upstairs. 
Go to the boss's room. The head chief of police at Los Santos. Here we go. I think we'll check out the armory before we head to his room. Sadly, that doesn't open either, but you know, you can see all the guns that are in there. Let's see if I can try to keep going. Nope, doesn't work. I see a couple pistols, I see some shotguns, I see some assault rifles, all waiting to be used. And they're left unattended, too. Alright, here we are, the chief of police's room. All of his funny stuff. The thing that I thought was the funniest was his his notebook of stuff he should be writing down to like fix in his like police department. Literally all he did is draw squares and cubes and shit. Oh, it looks freaking hilarious. You're sitting at your desk all day, making it look like you're doing something, and then all of a sudden you just start to draw like just shapes. Shapes in your notebook. And yeah, here's some of the other cooler detailed stuff, his little awards on his wall, his medals. His box of tissues if he's got an issue. He's got uh looks like some evidence boxes, probably it'll be like probably for some of those heists that you do, but you know, he just kinda puts them aside because he's too lazy to deal with them. Yeah. So I think now we're gonna head to the front desk, um which has uh a computer you can actually go on, which is actually pretty cool. Kind of screw around on it, see if I can find anything. But I didn't really find much. Just normal stuff, like if you were to pull up your phone. Yeah. Life Invader. Nope, doesn't work. That's basically it. I was uh, going to see if you could look at the cameras, but you can't. You can't come in the front door, which is another bummer. I thought you couldn't even get in here. And there's another fire alarm. Some more cameras that, you know, you don't want to be watching you as you patrol around the LS police station. Another bulletin board. we got our Sasquatch there, or our owl, our state bird, whatever the heck that is, a woodchuck with an axe. Yeah. So, yeah, guys. That is basically it there is to see for the LS police station, a secret location in GTA 5. And I am Fresh and Fly. And I love it.